Sometimes we don't do better until we get in trouble. Sometimes we don't do better until we're under threat. Sometimes we don't do better until we have competition. Oh, it's gonna be quiet this morning, Jesus. Angels, y'all shout for me this morning because the people are gonna be quiet. Doing better on the job, we know what to do. We used to do it when we first got the job and we didn't take it for granted. We knew not to take a two and a half hour lunch. We knew how to be in our place. We knew not to be on the phone and playing video games in our office. We knew better. Yeah, you should wear some strong shoes because I'm going to step on some toes today. But whether we know better and what we do is two different things altogether. Especially when you realize that the people we admire the most were people who put into action what they knew, who grew and changed and made corrections. They became our heroes because they had the courage to change course. All of the people that we highlight in our country and our history are people who had the courage to change course. Leaders like Abraham Lincoln had the courage to change course. It is not now, it's, we always honor people after they're dead. But in real time speed, our heroes were not popular because they went against the course and they swam upstream against the grain and they had to have courage to change the course. That's not easily done. Dr. King had to have courage to change the court. Nelson Mandela went to jail to change the court. You can get in trouble to change the court. Corrections can often have severe consequences. Corrections can often have severe consequences. Getting it right can have severe consequences. Because see, you, you, you make a decision at one stage in your life and then later you know better, but you're already in the situation. I never will forget, I was teaching a Bible class one time and I was doing Q&A right here at this church and a young man said something to me I will never forget. He said, I am the world's best at getting into situations and the world's worst at getting out. And I think the reason it becomes so difficult to get out is because sometimes it's become so complicated it requires humility that some people lack the ability to quiet their ego enough to achieve the ability of change because sometimes you have to go against what you said at this stage to correct where you are at that stage. And so until you become strong enough to admit, yes, I said it, but I was wrong, you can't bring about change. And sometimes your ego will make you be loyal to a mistake. I'm wondering if there's anybody in here who's ever been loyal to a mistake. And you, it was a mistake, and you knew it was a mistake, but you counted up the cost to fix it, and you decided you would just take the easy way out and live with it. Our, our decisions, you see, to correct our mistakes can create disruption and not only disruption for us, disruption for other people. And when you look at what it's gonna to take to straighten it out, sometimes you just don't do it. And when you don't do it, you become trapped in a nightmare of regret. You'd be surprised how long you can live in the prison of your problems. You'd be surprised how long you can live a life where you clap like you're free, you talk like you're free, you move like you're free, but you're really not free at all because you are trapped in a complicated situation. You can't get out and you can't get in, you're just stuck. And so you clap stuck and you sing stuck and you go to choir rehearsal stuck and you go to work stuck and you come home stuck and you go to church stuck. And yes, you get your dance in every now and then, but you go back to a situation that's stuck because dancing doesn't bring about change. I don't care how much you praise the Lord until you correct your past decisions, you are not going to get the breakthrough that you need. 
and still use until you stop using shopping for therapy you're never going to have the credit rating that you should have no matter how much he's jehovah jireh he can't be jehovah jireh to you because as fast as he pours it in you leak it out and god is too much of a businessman to keep investing in a bankrupt system and you know what it takes to fix it, and you know the discipline that's required to get your life together, but it's not always true that people who know better do better. And not knowing better simply leaves you stuck. People often like the stomach for it, I think. To risk the pain of changing course, the uncertainty of what would life be like outside of the bubble of my normal. I hate my normal, but I'm afraid of change. So I'd rather stick with the devil I know. Oh, y'all not gonna talk to me this morning. Have you ever grown up and rethought your choices? Have you ever got more information and rethought your choices? Have you ever looked back at your life in retrospect and found yourself in situations that were based on bad information, immature decisions, selfishness, emotionalism, pride, discontentment, and restlessness, and now you're more mature and you're wiser and you wonder what you could have been had you started earlier on the right road. I wish I, maybe it's somebody that's streaming that needs what I'm talking about and you lay down at night and live with the frustration, wonder what would have happened had I not got myself stuck. We're almost like the woman in the commercial, help, I've fallen. And I can't get up. I change churches and I can't get up. I change spouses and I can't get up. I change jobs and I can't get up. I change my major and I can't get up. I change my hairstyle and I can't get up. I change the way I dress and I can't get up. It doesn't matter what I got on. It doesn't matter what I look like. I cannot seem to get up. So you give up when you can't get up. And you decide to yourself, maybe I just have to make the best of a bad situation. I guess I'm really talking about making a decision to live with regret. And you'd be surprised how many people in this room are living with regret. That they could clean up, that they could fix it, they could change it, they could alter. But sometimes the dilemma is, is it easier to live with regret or live without it and cause the disruption that is necessary in my normal to see the growth that I long to see in my life? Are you hearing what I'm saying about it? Either way you go, have you ever been in a situation where either decision you made is gonna cause pain. Where are my real people at? Have you ever been weighing the pain? <laughs> you know, when I got ready to have back surgery, I wouldn't have had back surgery if I wasn't in pain. But I had to weigh the pain that I had before the surgery against the pain of having the surgery. And it took me a long time to make up my mind to have the surgery because either way I went, it was gonna be pain. And I had to decide, I ultimately decided that I would rather live with the pain of recovery.